My name is Christian von Königsegg. For half of my life, I've been on the quest to be a leader in the hypercar industry, utilizing Swedish design combined with visionary technical solutions. In front of me we have the uh, Regera uh, battery pack, which is uh, a power pack for the EV propulsion system. The, uh, the battery pack or the system that we have in the Regera now has been under development for now for two and a half years. Uh, it has been uh, changing quite a lot on its way, as you can figure out. Um, we have changed uh, battery cells, chemistry, the whole setup of the battery pack. Um, we've changed the, uh, the inverters to uh, bigger inverters and we made a unique Koenigsegg cooling system to adapt to the high power that we drive with. The, the battery pack is, is fully developed for performance aspects. Um, of course we don't need it for EV driving but it's for acceleration of the vehicle. So that means that we need to have a lot of power available uh, always and, and full time. Uh, it's not like uh, EV where you need to have the range in the pack. The importance of having the EV motors is to have a, a very rapid and fast uh, movement on the car from zero and, and upwards. And therefore we have the full amount of torque from, from zero uh, and helping the car accelerate. Um, and, and therefore it's very important that we have full power available at all times with the Regera because you can also use the Regera on the track and therefore you of course would like to have the full torque of the car all times. At lower speeds you have um, the EV motors helping to, to push the car forward uh, and then at some point the, uh, the direct drive will uh, enable the V8 to help with accelerations. So the whole idea about placing the battery pack in the center of the car is to have a center of gra gravity on the vehicle uh, to enable to have the perfect drive uh, with the car. Uh, the battery pack is built up our carbon housing um, to keep the, the, the weight low. The, uh, the battery pack contains six modules of 64 cells, so that is 384 cells in total. Uh, the cells we have inside the battery pack is these small cells, 26700 cells. You would only see these batteries in performance vehicles. The difference between this cells and, and other cells that we see on the market today is that the, the chemistry is special made in these cells. The, uh, the cells are used in Formula 1 because of the very high power density. Um, but the, the, the design of the cell is not different than, than other cells. It is a cylindrical cell, uh, 26700. I mean, the, the price is approximately 100 times higher than uh, a normal cell you see on the market. So it is very, very expensive. And the, the, the reason why it is so expensive is because of the special chemistry which is inside the cell. Um, until so far, I haven't met any other uh, battery plant which could produce a cell which could give out the same power amount. Never, never seen that before. We have been through roughly 20 different uh, battery manufacturers, testing and, uh, and, and stressing the cells to see which kind of cell we were planning to use in our car and we ended up using the cell, um, which has almost double amount of power than the cell next to it in our testing. So it is a very unique cell. Uh, so we, we have a good collaboration with Remac. Um, everything we do uh, in regards to testing and Remac is also manufacturing our battery pack. Remac is also providing or producing electric vehicle, but they are not using the cell. This cell will only be used in a power pack, uh, a very lightweight power pack, where you need a very high power density. You will never use it for a full EV uh, car. It will be too expensive and the power will be, yeah. This battery pack weighs, uh, with liquids inside, uh, 66 kilos. It's very important to, to cool down battery cells because of the high amount of power we drag through a cell. They heat up when you pull power through them. Um, and therefore we decided to make the modules fully flooded. So we were sure that we have the, the perfect cooling amount around the whole housing of the cell. Uh, so all modules, is, you have the entrance of the cooling here and then it goes through all the modules and going out again. Um, and we 
to make sure that we have the perfect temperature inside the pack always. The cells work best under a certain amount of temperature, so it's very, it's very, it's very important that we keep the same temperature in the cells for having the, the right power available. Uh, but of course it was very important for us to, to have the same amount of power in the pack after two years of usage. So therefore um, it was very important that we again have the most perfect cooling circuit to make sure that the cells are kept inside the, the perfect temperatures. Um, so we have roughly 1500 cycles on a battery pack on the race, race cycles. That means on the full discharge and full charge circles. But we have the uh, possibility to put the car in different drive modes, which enables you to longer the life on the battery pack. And of course, the car will tell you that if you put it in race mode, you will degradate faster. Of course, one of the things that which were very important in, in the whole design phase of this battery pack is that the fact that you can drive this car in any climate around the world, from very cold climate to very hot climate in Dubai, for example. And therefore, again, it was very important that the whole design and the whole cooling circuit of the battery pack was built to, to drive in, in cold uh, climates, but also in very hot climates. Uh, we don't have a service team like they have in Formula One, so therefore it's very important that we can put the car on the street and confident uh, know that the car will, will make it for many years without degradation of power or have breakdowns in, in, in the battery pack. The Koenigsegg battery pack is 4.5 kilowatt hour um, and we have a maximum of 806 volts and a nominal voltage of 700. We have uh, the availability of 525 kilowatts of power which is equal to roughly 700 horsepower and uh, that will enable the car to drive from 0 to 400 in less than 20 seconds.